Hello everyone. Um, today I wanted to do a video for Band Book Week. So um, this week, um, I think the 22nd to the 28th, um, is uh, Band Book Week. So uh, I thought I'd share my top three band books that On you should side read. Note, band Book Week is um, it's for people to read books that have been challenged or banned. So if a book is challenged, that means that someone went to a library or bookstore and says, hey, I don't think you should have this book on your shelf. If a book is banned, then that means the library or bookstore actually took it off the shelf. So just many different parts of the country have um, uh, just different books that they've taken off the shelves just over the years. So uh, here we go. So the first one is... Uh, Ray Bradbury's uh, Fahrenheit 451. Um, this is a story about a uh, guy named Montag, and he lives in a world where books and writing are uh, banned, and they get burned. And this is a fairly short story, and it just goes into... Um, what happens to Montag when he actually steals a book and starts to read it. So this book was banned because uh, there's a place where they uh, mention burning the Bible. And um, so I, a couple places have um, uh, banned it. Uh, the reason why you should read it is because not only is this a good story, but it also makes you think about uh, censorship, media censorship, and things like that, like um, what society is saying you should read, what society is saying you should think. Uh, so it's very, uh, just, uh, just very well um, uh, uh, written. Uh, I watched the movie, I think there's like a 1970s movie a long time ago, and uh, I just remember, like, the last scenes, um, even from when I was a kid, that they were just really good. So, uh, Fahrenheit 451. If you haven't read it, you should read it. Uh, the second book that you should read is uh, George Orwell's Animal Farm. And so, this is a story uh, about a farm... And the, the, the farmer, the main farmer of the farm, is not a very nice guy. And he just abuses his animals. And one day, uh, the pigs come and are like, this is not conditions that are okay. We need to, us animals need to rise up and kick the farmer out. Um, and all the other animals in the, in the farm uh, agree. So they, there's a rising, they kick the farmer out, and they start uh, uh, running the farm by themselves. And just through uh, the time passes, and it, just, and it turns out that the pigs who started this revolution turn out to be kind of as bad as uh, uh, the farmers, and just um, also abusing the animal, other animals. So this book was banned uh, because of its uh, just very close correlations to communism, and um, uh, a lot of people didn't like that. Uh, the reason why you should read it is because not only is this an interesting story, and it's just an interesting fictional story, but it also makes you think of society and how people work together in society, and... Um, uh, just the steps people take of like, oh, this is right and this is wrong. Uh, it's just very interesting. Um, I read this many, 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 many years ago, and it's uh, still it's a very good story. I watched the cartoon when I was a kid, and that one was uh, there's still images in uh, from the movie that I still remember from Animal Farm. So definitely some that you should read. And the third book is one of my favorites is Harry Potter. If you have not read the Harry Potter books, um, you should definitely try. Um, this book was banned because um, 
uh, they're witches and wizards and they go to school. And so a lot of people were like, oh, witches and stuff are is not okay. The kids are reading about them. Um, but when you read the whole Harry Potter series, you find out that it's more than just witches in school and stuff like that. There's more storylines of friendships, um, mystery, battling against evil, things like that. Um, so those are some of the reasons why you should read it. Um, this book, is, these, the whole series is, are, is so well written and so immersive. Um, J.K. Rowling just did a very good job with that. So these are the top three books that you should read for a uh, banned book week. Um, so anyway, if you've read a banned book um, or any of these books, tell me which ones are your favorite um, in the comments below. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, very quick video. Like and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.